the freshman phenoms at the national tournament. This was the year of freshman phenoms. And I'm just going to go down by weight class, uh, a, lo- a couple of the freshmen from each weight class who really showed up at the tournament. First of all, uh, you know, I- I'll get to Makai Lewis in a little bit because he's he was the OW in the talk of the entire tournament at the end of it. And as he deserves to be. But at 125 pounds, Pat Glory of Princeton finished in seventh place. He had a pretty strong tournament, uh, and you know I give him props. But another guy from Cornell is Vital Arouge. Uh, Vito, as you know, as they call him, uh, he finished in fourth. He actually beat Nick Piccinini, which not a lot of people were talking about, but he beat him in the placing rounds uh, in the Conci semis. Now, he did end up, uh, he lost to Rivera, in the uh, upper half of the bracket, but he beat Pitch in this Conchie semi. What a match there. And uh, Vito ended up finishing in fourth place. Uh, he lost to Rivera twice. At 133 pounds, I mean, it's really a no-brainer. The freshman phenom here is Dayton Fix, who ended up making it to the finals in his first year at the tournament and lost to Nick Suriano. But he had a pretty nice ride there. He had wins over Ernesty as well as Pletcher. And I look forward to seeing him wrestle uh, in the upcoming years, possibly winning a couple titles. At 141 pounds, Dom Demas. So he's from uh, Oklahoma University. And he finished in fourth place. This is a guy who I, I honestly didn't know much about going into the tournament, but I, I love to watch him wrestle. He wrestled Yanni extremely close uh, up until, you know, I believe it was the second or third period, but he was looking really, really solid there. Uh, he had wins over Canaan Store of Michigan as well as Nick Lee. Uh, great tournament for him. I'm looking forward to see what he does in the future. At 149 pounds, Austin O'Connor. Big upset by Austin O'Connor, uh, who who ended up beating uh, Fine Silver, Mitch Fine Silver, who's the number three seed. O'Connor had the number six seed uh, from UNC. He ended up beating Fine Silver twice in this tournament. Now he did end up losing to Michael Jordan in the semifinals, but a pretty great uh, ride for him. He finished in third place overall. At 165 pounds is Makai Lewis. Guys, this guy, this kid. Makai Lewis as a freshman winning the title. I mean, to win the title as a freshman is, first of all, unbelievable. But this guy, he he kind of came out of nowhere. He had two losses on the season. Didn't have a whole lot of quality wins, and I think that's why he was seeded so low. He was the eighth seed. He beat the number one seed in Alex Marinelli. Then he beat the number four seed in Evan Wick. And then he beat the number two seed in Vincenzo Joseph. The only guy he didn't beat was the number three seed, which he didn't get a chance to wrestle. But he showed up to this tournament. And sometimes that's all it takes is one great weekend to win a national title. And that's just what Mkai did. And I can't wait to see what he does in the future. This this kid is a freshman phenom. He won the outstanding wrestler of the tournament, as I think he deserves it. Uh, he's not going to win the Hodge Trophy or anything because, you know, he, although he did have a great season, I just don't think he had the the quality wins, all the upsets, the... the um, the bonus points, I should say, but he had a great national tournament, and I have to give my tip my hat off to this guy at, at 285 pounds. The other, the last freshman phenom that I have is Gable Stevenson from Minnesota. This guy, he Stevenson wanted to come in here, win four national titles undefeated, and you know. Anthony Gasar came in here. He beat Stevenson twice in very close matches. But Stevenson's just a fun guy to watch wrestle. He's aggressive. He takes shots. He f- he finishes great shots on guys and just keeps up the pace always. And he's one of the better heavyweights I've seen in the last couple of years for sure. Of course, it's it's tough to compare that because you have Kyle Snyder. You have the Snyder man up top. But Stevenson's another great heavyweight, and we're blessed with such great heavyweights. Uh, he bonused his way actually all the way to the semis, lost a close match to see, uh, to Kassar, and then he ended up beating Hamida and Wood to take third place as a freshman. I see this guy coming out uh, probably in the national finals over the next couple of years, and he's just done a great job. Mm-hmm.